Hey, hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Carol? Fine, and you? Okay, good. Thank good, you. Good. Ready. Ready to start again. Another course. Okay. <laughs> good. So we have Marilyn, Marilyn Romero, and Lily. Hello, Lily. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, Marilyn. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. See, I went to sleep and came back. <laughs> hello, yeah, voy acelerado, right? She knows. Good okay. okay. Good. And you, Lily? How are you? <laughs> Fine. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay, Carlos, Joel, Freddy. Okay, good. Ready, Edwin. Hi. Hello. Okay. Well, just uh, let me see. Him. Well, denme un segundito y ya regreso solo. Recojo un asunto para acá, okay? Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Okay, guys, yes, this is the, let me see, for intermediate two, right? For intermediate two. Okay. Uh, hey, Arely, how are you? Good night. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, good. Uh, I have uh, well, some, some information to give you. Okay, this information is for uh, from the administration, right? Eh, las fechas para terminar son del a partir de ahora, 25 al 17 de diciembre. Okay, okay. that's uh, four weeks. Okay. Eh, sí, me dijeron que va a haber un cambio en esta semana y la próxima, como son cuatro clases por semana. Ok, de lunes a jueves. Uh -huh. Pero como hemos iniciado dos días después y no podemos pasarnos después del 17, porque tienen ellos todavía que hacer el cierre administrativo con INSAFOR, entonces esta semana vamos a tener eh, clase miércoles, jueves y viernes, right? Ok, yes. Y ahí reponemos la clase de lunes. Ok, then the next week, next week we have. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Five classes. Okay. Okay. So no no rest. Okay. So then we have this week and next week, ocho classes. Okay. The two weeks. After okay. that, después de eso, si vamos, volvemos <coughs> a lo normal. De lunes okay. a jueves, las últimas dos semanas. Okay. 
Así que okay. estos dos viernes no party. Okay, so, sorry. Okay. 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 <risa> Solo las últimas dos semanas ya cerca de la Navidad sí le puedo dar para que salgan el viernes a hacer una vueltecita. Okay. Good. Okay. Eh, eso es lo administrativo. Eh, hay, lleven la, hay que llevar la, la plataforma al día por la cuestión del cierre, como les digo. Creo que a ustedes les aparece el 20 o algo. Pero ese cierre es para Insafor, porque ellos auditan la, y sacan las clases, eh, las notas y todo. Entonces, este, ustedes tienen que terminar el 17, right? Así que yo los voy a ir apoyando en ese proceso de completar la, la plataforma, si tienen preguntas, dudas, o whatever. Okay? ¿Ok? No problem? No problem. Good. No problem. Ok. So, this is the pre-intermediate 2. Es un poquito más demandante, obviamente, que el pre-intermediate 1. Ok, ya vamos a ver, pero por ejemplo, pasado... Okay, y otras estructuras, ok, da, eh, espero que ustedes ya tengan alguna base de eso, si no, pues me lo hacen saber, right? Expect, expectations, ¿quién tiene algunas expectativas que quisiera compartir, ok, para, para hacer mejor la clase, para que ustedes aprendan mejor y pues ayudarles de una manera, digamos, como más, más ad hoc a su que, que se ajuste a su, digamos, a sus necesidades. ¿Qué le gustaría o qué creen que necesitan para como aprender más, y no más rápido tal vez, pero sí un poco más? Eh, tal vez eh, practicar más eh, eh, conversaciones. Ro the role plays, ¿verdad? Yes. Los roles, mm -hmm. ajá, ok. Mm -hmm. All right. ¿Qué más? What else? Como repetir más, eh, pronunciar más. Okay. Pronunciation and repetition, right? Mm -hmm. Especialmente las palabras que ven difíciles, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Algunas yes. más que otras. Repetition. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más? Any expectation? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Enrique and I, I am a new student. This is my first class with this group. Okay. And uh, my, my new expectation is uh, 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 to best uh, conversation and language and the uh, others. Other, uh, other words on the pronunciation very difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay. The vocabulary, right? The vocabulary is sometimes, well, vocabulary is very important, right? Because if, uh, if we have a lot of vocabulary, then we can, you know, speak more. But uh, also the pronunciation sometimes is, is a little bit uh, difficult, right? And we need to, to, let's say, to practice that. Okay, yeah. so we have vocabulary. And pronunciation. Okay. Good. Then, uh, well, don't uh, don't worry. Okay, you know that, for example, in in my case, you can. Uh, sometimes when I am speaking or explaining, if you don't uh, understand the topic or if you have a question. Okay, you can you you can ask. Okay, just let me know that you have a question, and and I can stop and explain uh, the doubt or the topic a little bit more. Okay, so don't worry about asking questions. Please ask any questions. Okay, if there is a, si hay una duda or something, no se la lleven, right? O no se la queden, right? So then uh, just share it. Hay que compartir las dudas porque de ahí se aprende mucho, right? Pues, uh, then, uh, cosas que a mí no se me ocurre ahorita cómo preguntarlo, tal vez alguien lo hace y dice, ah, sí, cierto, eso no lo sabía. Right? So, we learned. We learned from that. Okay? Then, uh, let me check. Si no tienen alguna duda, pregunta administrativa o algo. Yes, what's uh -huh. your name? Okay, yes. Si no, <laughs> piense que no puedo cambiar ese nombre que está ahí. Mero raro, inglés corporativo. 
So we say Luis Avellan, okay. It's in the chat. Luis Avellan. Okay, you can call me Luis, no problem. Okay, that's yeah. That's my name. And okay, what else? Okay. All right, so then this topic is how often do you exercise, okay? How often? So in this, uh, in this lesson or in this, yes, this lesson, we're going to see conversation about how often people do an activity. So this is the frequency, okay? How often we do things using frequency adverbs. The frequency adverbs are those words that tell you, for example, uh, how frequently we perform any activity. You, uh, you begin with never, which is 0%, right? If you ask me in this moment, hey, Luis, how often do you exercise? My answer is, what is that? <laughs> okay, he means never, okay, never. <laughs> Okay, in this moment, right? In this moment, probably never. How often do you, how often, yes, in this moment, I don't exercise. I have to, okay? So then how often do you exercise? How often do you take a shower? Uh, some, sometimes, okay, sometimes. No, no, no really? Every day. Every day, no, every day. No. Every day. <laughs> okay, yes, every day, right? Every, every day, day, always, okay, always, all the time. Or you can say twice a day, okay? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, twice a day. Okay. If, it is, if it is very hot or if you have a lot of uh, physical activity, okay? For example, uh, last year when I went to the gym, I took a shower in the morning in my house and then I took a shower after, after I did exercise, right? Or after I play soccer. So then I took another shower. Sometimes I took a shower twice a day. Every day and some days, two times. Okay? Now, so this is, for example, how often? Listen to this question. How often? How often do you? Con que frecuencia? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. How often do you study English? How often do you practice English? How often do you have, uh, how often do you go to the bank? How often do you go to the supermarket? How often do you, how often do you sleep late? Okay, probably say, uh, sometimes, two times a week or never. Okay, I always, always get up early. Okay. Okay. You can say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? So you always do that. Good. Then uh, this is the objective, right? Have a conversation about how often. Look at this. Hardly ever. I hardly ever exercise. What is the meaning of I hardly ever? Wrong. Hardly ever. Apenas. Yes. A, apenas. Uh -huh, something okay. like that. Yeah, something like that, right? Like casi oh, nunca, yeah, right? Yeah. Hardly ever. I hardly ever exercise. Ya cuando. Se cae un palo de aguacate, no even near my house. Y esto que no he sembrado ni uno. Cuando truena. Cuando truena, right? En, en, en verano, right? So hardly ever. Okay, so then you say, I hardly ever, almost never. And then, I hardly ever, then you can, and you can use, remember, a one tip is that you can paraphrase, paraphrasear. I hardly ever go to the movies. I hardly okay, ever. I hardly ever, uh, uh, I hardly ever, let me see, uh, go to Mexico, 
who I hardly ever traveled to other countries. Um, I hardly ever play tennis. Well, I never play tennis. I hardly ever, uh, I hardly ever play video games. Hardly ever, but sometimes I do. Okay. So then you just uh, use you use I hardly ever, and then you put the action after that, and then you can use you can practice a lot of vocabulary, right? Then let's listen to the conversation. But first, let me share the computer sound here, then here, and then here. here Hello, we we're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? Well, about five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond to how often you do a particular activity. That. Well, about. Okay. Questions about this uh, vocabulary or pronunciation? It says you're really you're really fit, right? In good shape. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously, sure. And then I go, and often, and then I often go inline skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? about five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. What is couch potato? Okay, couch potato. You know a potato, right? Yeah. Yeah. Potato, okay. And look at this picture. You see, where is the lady? It's something like lazy, right? And, uh -huh. Yes. Where is the lady, Arely? What is right. this? Where is the lady? This lady. In the, in the picture. Ah, in the He's in the sofa. Yes. In the okay, sofa. Uh -huh, in the living room. Sofa, couch, couch is a synonym mm. of sofa. Also, okay. Yeah. And then in a couch potato, imagine if you put a potato in the sofa. What mm. happens? Um, just just uh -huh. stay in the couch. Stay in the couch. Does it move? Si la deja ahí en la mañana ah. que va a trabajar, ahí la encuentra, right? The couch, the, okay. the potato. Okay, so a person, when you say a person is a couch potato, it means that, my goodness, what did you, well, eh, Freddy lo dijo de manera elegante, right? Lazy, como el, el gasolcito, okay. pero es más que, okay. es más que eso. Ahora right? gana, ahora gana. Thank you. Well, <laughs> yes. Okay, let's see. And say. the seriously, 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 yes. de veras, really. Okay. Okay, Eileen, seriously, de veras, right? Seriously. What else? Okay. Uh huh. Um, I often go in line. Uh, oh, in line, in line, in line skating. skating. Uh, in line, look at the skating. look at the shoes. Look at the shoes of the men. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, this is in line. 
inline yeah. skating. Okay. Uh, these are, for example, the patines, right? But they mm -hmm. have only one line, one line with the rollers. Okay, so these are inline skating. This was in the in the eighties, I guess. Uh, in the eighties, in the eighties, they were very popular. Okay, before that, remember they were no tenis and acordás, soy muy jóvenes. Okay, there were some uh, unos patines skates con cuatro ruedas. Four wheels. Uh -huh, four wheels. Yeah, exactly, four I wheels. In the ear and the metal, they were metal, right? Yeah. Yes. And then in the eighties, in the eighties, then they they invented the inline. Mm. This ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eran de goma, very nice, uh, nice, nice uh, skates. Okay. So then you see, for example, this is inline skating is an activity. Uh, how often do you exercise like that? And then it says about five times a week. For example, see that you can say five times a week. You can say uh, one, one day a week, okay, once a week, twice a week, three <clears throat> times a week, four times a week, five times a week. And you can also use never, uh, sometimes, rarely, seldom, usually, and that, right? What else? Any other question? Five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly <laughs> ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond to how often you do a particular activity. Okay. Good. Any other question about this? You can ask me later if you have more. Okay, so that's the introduction. Teacher, um, yes. And I lift weight for an hour. What you say? Oh, and lift, this? lift weights. Uh, uh -huh. When you go to the gym, do you remember? Uh, what's the name of this guy? Hello, uh, we're now guys a lot. Silvestre and I lift weights. Or Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, they oh. went to the gym and they lift weights. Okay. Uh -huh. But uh, for example, the um, this is the action of lift. Okay, lift. Ah, levantar. Okay. Uh-huh, and weights. Okay, weight is when you got peso. yes, exactly, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. Lift weights. Okay, so thank the you. action is levantar pesos, right? So oh, this is lift weights. Okay. Lift weights. Mm -hmm. I lift weights for an hour. Okay. So the people who want to grow muscles, los que quieren eh, tener uh, músculos, Pectoral. right? Like like this one. <laughs> okay, so then you can say um, I gain for the chest. Okay, for the arms, okay, for your mm -hmm. wrist, okay, you lift weights. For your legs, your back, well, all the parts of your body. Okay. All right. Your activity. Okay, so this one is, I hardly ever uh, exercise, I hardly ever do Different things. Guys a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, what are some words that indicate or that tell you the frequency. In the first line, for example, we don't have any. In the, uh, the second line, we have almost always. Okay? Almost always is a frequency. Okay? And then you have a 
question. Let me see what else. Often, after seriously, I say sure. And then I often, I often go in light skating. Often is another frequency, okay? Uh, the next one is, how often do you exercise like that? Uh, about five times, five times a week. Okay, five times a week is also a frequency. Uh, it, this one, five times, it's just relative, right? Because sometimes you can say, how, how often do you eat? Or how often, yes, how often do you eat in one day? Three times. Three times, right? It's normal, okay. Uh, in my case, I eat like six or seven times, right? But uh, probably, you know, I have like, a, like a snacks or coffee mm -hmm. breaks, okay? So it depends. Good. Uh, then five times a week. And the other one is... What about you? I hardly ever, okay, hardly ever, remember, is like the opposite of almost always. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost always, and then you have hardly ever, almost never. Then you also usually. have uh, usually, correct? Usually, which is uh, normally, right, is something that Always, then you have almost always, then usually. And the other one is? Every time. Uh, I usually watch every time. No, I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, those are the ones. But you have a never, sometimes. Sometimes it's not here, right? No. No, it's not there. Okay, but you can also use... Those are frequency adverbs, okay? This one, how often do you exercise? So you can respond how often you do a particular activity. Okay, what is your case, boys and girls? It says, how to ask questions using adverbs of frequency. Okay, how often do you, let's say, do you have a, do you have lunch uh, at a restaurant? I take lunch mm -hmm. um, for one week, one day week. Once a week, okay. Uh, once uh -huh, yes. a week. Uh-huh, yes, once a week. Once a week. Um, In my case, once uh -huh. a month. Okay, once. Look in the, in the chat says once a week. Okay, once, once a week. A month. Once a month. Once a month. Okay. Depends, right? Sometimes for business, for for different reasons, right? For different reasons, we can uh, we can uh, have lunch at a restaurant. Okay. What else? How often do you how often do you play sports? Any sports? Basketball, soccer. Uh, jogging, running. Okay. How often? Uh, how often? Two, uh, two weeks. Uh, one week. Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Okay. Yes. Once a week. Okay. You can say that one. Once a week. And if it is two times, you can say twice. Twice a week. Okay, that is two times. Okay, and then you can say three times. Okay, three times. Existe la palabra thrice, pero no frequently used. 
Okay, you can say once, twice, thrice. Okay, but se escribe así. Si la, si la buscan en el diccionario, la van a encontrar como thrice. But mm, it's not frequent, frequent uh, frequently used, right? So then you say once, twice, three times, four times. Three times. Okay, then you use four times, and then you can also use five times. Five times. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, what else? What other activity? For example, now you say, say a sentence. Think about a sentence. Think about a sentence. I always, uh, I always um, sleep for hours. I always sleep six hours. Uh, I always uh, watch the news before I go to bed. Uh, I never, I never uh, take a shower before I go to bed. I always take a shower in the morning or in the afternoon, okay? Good, think about sentence. You say, I never, I usually, I sometimes, I often. Okay, tell me sentences with activities that you do. Si, sí, cualquiera puede participar. Uh, um, I usually, okay. I usually read the newspaper in the night. Perfect, that's good. I usually read the newspaper in the night. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm going to run four times a week. I go to run four times a week. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I read the book for every night. I read a book every night. Very good. I stay day every day. I. I take break. I take a break, mm -hmm. a break. every day. Every yes, day. it's good. That's excellent. That's it's okay. necessary. Mm -hmm. What else? I hardly ever read the newspaper. I hardly ever read the newspaper. Hey, you know, yeah, that's true. You know, I, I hardly ever or never. I hardly ever read the newspaper. I read more the. Well, I read. I, the newspaper, I read the digital paper now, like a digital newspaper now. Okay, what else? Another one. I always study English. I always study English. Very good, Urania. I like that one. You have an extra point in this moment. Okay, yes. Yes, Arely? I don't take drink. Coffee. I almost. Ah, wait, wait. wait. I, don't, what did you... I don't take the. Uh, drink coffee at the midnight? Mm, well, it depends <laughs> if you have to work it. Yes, I, I don't drink coffee in the, uh, say at midnight or I never drink coffee at midnight. Yes. At midnight, yes. Okay, good. Joel or quien you like? Who was I almost, I almost uh, always work at night. I almost always work at night. Wow, that's hard. Okay, good. Yes, Arely, you were were you going to say something? I always take coffee. I always drink coffee. Okay. I, I always, always drink coffee. Drink coffee. Are you drinking coffee in this moment? No. No, not in this moment. Okay. Only but, for uh, Good morning. Drinking water. In the morning. Uh -huh. Only in the morning. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Okay, Can anybody I use else? Barely? I? Barely? Yes, right? Can I use barely? Barely, yes. I barely, okay. rem I barely remember the word. <laughs> I'm going to give an example. Uh -huh. uh, because, because the pandemic, I barely go to jogging. I barely go, go jogging. jogging. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, that word uh, barely is muy inglés, right? Because uh, casi no se usan los, casi no se ven los textos, right? When you say barely. But barely is something like, like almost never, right? I, I barely do that. Okay. I barely listen to you. I barely uh, see you. Okay. Yes. It's a, it's a good word. Excellent. Okay. So you see, you already have an idea, okay? of how to use the frequency adverbs. 
And when you see the frequency adverbs, you have the subject, I, you, he, she, they, we, and after we use the frequency adverb, I often, I usually, I always, I never, and then the complement, right? I never, uh, let's say, I never uh, sleep after 6 a.m. Okay, I always get up early. Okay, I usually study in the morning. I, um, I often go to the beach. Sometimes, sometimes it's a different thing, right? So sometimes you can use it at the beginning. Sometimes I go to the beach or I sometimes go to the beach. Uh, with the word sometimes, sometimes you, sometimes you can put it at the beginning or you sometimes put it after the, so that's the only one that you can change. But the rest is subject, frequency adverb, and then you have the complement. All right? This is for the introduction of this. And now listen. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay. Go to a dance class sometimes. Sometimes it's a I. I go to. How about you? How often do you? Okay, so this is what I was telling you, right? So you have in the construction, uh, you always use the, the subject, I, we, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, mm -hmm. then the adverb, <clears throat> never, always, hardly ever, som uh, sometimes, uh, usually, often, then the verb and the complex. I never, the verb, play, complement, baseball. Okay, exception is the word sometimes. So the adverb sometimes. So you can use it in three different positions and no problem. Okay. Then uh, probably when you say sometimes I go, I go to a dance class. This is a como más natural, right? Like more, more natural. But when I, when you say I sometimes go to a dance class, 
this makes a little more emphasis. Okay, I sometimes, and when you say I go to a dance class sometimes, is also when you want to say that you just go, right? It's similar to this. But this one is a little bit more emphatic. Okay? Questions in this moment? Okay, then I took a picture of this. Uh, questions here, how often do you exercise? And then the possible answers. And then do you ever? Okay, and the possible answers, right? Then, uh, we're going to work in groups for for about nine minutes, okay? And you are going to practice with the questions that you have in your, uh, well, I sent you the picture in, the, if, you, if you don't have it in the computer or, or your cell phone, you can use those questions, right? For you to remember the questions, that you, the question that you are going to be using. Okay, let me see. We're going to make six, Two, three participants, five groups. Okay, five groups. And then you ask questions, for example, the, you can ask questions using how often do you, uh, how often do you uh, clean your house? How often do you uh, clean your room? How often do you wash clothes? How often do you, um, uh, wash the dishes. The idea is that you try to remember vocabulary that you don't use very often, right? So try to remember words. How often do you, how often do you eat a pineapple? How often do you eat apples? How often do you eat fruit? How often do you eat pizza? How often do you eat uh, junk food? Okay, bring all this vocabulary into practice, okay? And in the answers, you're going to say, well, uh, uh, let's say I, I eat junk food every week, or I never eat junk food, or I eat junk food every day, okay, hamburgers, uh, pizza, or whatever, okay? Then you can practice, and then you can also use the yes, no question. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Okay, do you ever call your, uh, your friends during work time? Okay, do you ever read the newspaper at work? Okay, all of those. Now, take, accept your invitation and I will be visiting your groups, okay? Here you go.
<laughs> I, I, I never, I never play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, how often okay. do you read a book? Sorry. How often do you do you read a book? How often do you read a book? Ah, okay. Um, I. <clears throat> I never read a book. Mm. <laughs> He has many books behind. <laughs> <laughs> almost always. <laughs> I read a book almost Christian, always. Christian, Christian said he never read a book, and then you can see the bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I never read a book. You see, I, I, have, I have many books there too, but I never read a book. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. <laughs> how, many, okay. how many books read? How many books do you read? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> All right, good. Okay. Hey, continue practicing, okay? Very good, excellent. Okay. Okay, how often, <laughs> remember, do you ever, okay, practice all day? The kind of okay. questions. Excellent. How often do you drink uh, soda? Um, I sometimes. Drink soda. Um, how often do you prepare to dinner or the I, dinner? Every day prepare my dinner. Um, how often do you go to the park? Um, um, I one uh, one week. Once a week. Once a week, mm -hmm. uh, go to the park. I go to the park once a week. Uh -huh. I go uh, uh -huh. I go to the park once a week. Exactly. Thank you. Teacher, yes. Uh, the second question: What mm -hmm. is? Do you ever? Do you ever? Mm -hmm. Do you ever drink coffee in the morning? Uh, do you ever? Uh, do you ever study in your bedroom? Okay. Okay. Do you ever visit your daughter? In Spain, okay. Do you ever is if at least one time in your life you do something? Okay. Do you ever? Okay. It means if at if one time in your life. Okay. Si alguna vez, right? Do you ever? Ah, okay. Do you ever? Do you ever sleep on the floor? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you ever? Uh, drink coffee right do you ever mm -hmm. uh, drink uh, alcohol on on week on weekends okay so this is do you ever do you ever drink uh, wine wine? Mm -hmm. wine wine yes do you ever drink wine okay good so continue continue okay. practicing very good okay okay how often in the Eating uh, pizza. How often do you eat pizza? Uh, How often uh, uh, do you only, eat pizza? Mm -hmm. okay. Only in the only weekend. Okay. One. Okay, only on weekends. Yes. Only on weekend. Yes. Only okay. Only on How weekend. Often? In my case, only on weekends and when somebody invites me. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> On weekends, on right. weekends I pay. Um, on weekdays, it's free if it is free only. Uh -huh. Okay. And okay. um, how often on the church? No. How often? Visit visit on the church. How often do you visit the church? How, the church okay. now. How often do you visit the church? Okay. I, I, I don't. I I don't visit the church. I don't visit okay. the church. Okay. okay. Uh, Carol, you know. Uh, yeah. 
Enrique needs, you know, to go to the church. <laughs> okay. He needs an invitation to the church. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> no, probably. Just, no, probably. Just, kid, just, yeah. just kidding. No problem. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. All right. Okay. okay good. Continue okay. practicing. Very yes. nice. Okay. Uh, how often? The next question. And uh, what, how you, how, how often do you mm -hmm. eat fruit? What is this? Sorry, I, I can hear the, the last word. Fruit, fruit. 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 Uh, fruit, fruit. Yes, fruit. Oh. I I eat I always eat fruit in the morning. Okay. Because it's what do you how do you say saludable? Healthy. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Good good answer. Good answer. And good question. Okay, very nice. Continue. Pr uh, practice the, the second question, right? Do you ever do you ever eat fruit? And then you say, yes, yes, I always eat fruit in the morning because it's healthy. Okay? It's a similar okay. question. It's a similar question, but uh, in a different form. Okay? Uh, it's a different form. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Good. And continue with the practice. Mm, how often do you um, drink a beer? Uh, a beer? Oh, <laughs> I, oh, I, hardly, a beer? I, I hardly ever drink <laughs> a beer. <laughs> what, what is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay. oh, oh, yes, yes, a beer. I got it. <laughs> I, I'm a little girl. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> No, no, I never yeah. just only water, only water. Yes, and no. coffee. only water and and tea. And tea, yes, you know, and tea, like you know, like British yeah. people, right? The tea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but you see, uh, they they ask their question, right? For example, do you ever, okay, do you ever drink, uh, let's say, the um, sodas? Do you ever drink uh, tea? Okay. Uh, what else? Do you ever drink wine? Okay, you can practice with those mm -hmm. words too. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, con okay. continue. Continue you, with the practice. Did, okay. Did you ever?
Okay. I think almost everybody's back. Okay, in the in the chat you will see the two questions, right? That we were practicing, how often and do you ever, right? They are kind of similar questions, right? Because they when we use these questions, we want to know the the frequency, okay? Or how frequently how many times in our life or in our daily life we do some activities, right? How often is like more, uh, let's say, uh, probably general uh -huh, and, and you want to know exactly the, that frequency. Like if you have already one knowledge, uh, the knowledge, right? Like how often do you, uh, for example, who is from Santa Ana? Who's from Santa Ana? Who lives in Santa Ana in this moment? Who? Carol? No. Lily. Oh, Lily. Lily. Uh, you live in Santa Ana, yes? Yes. Okay. How often, Lily, how often do you come to San Salvador? I'm going once a year. Once a year, okay. So then you can use the expression that Freddie used, right? Well, I rarely, I rarely go to, to San Salvador, right? So once a year is oof, very, very minimum, right? So they say, well, I rarely go to San, to San Salvador. I don't, I don't need to go to San Salvador, okay? So this is how often, right? How often? Uh, then uh, also you can say, oh, do you ever, do you ever go to San Salvador? Alguna vez go to San Salvador? Do you ever go to San Salvador? Oh, yes, once a year, okay? Yes, once a year. Well, yes, I barely go, but like one or twice a year maybe. Okay, so because you are saying that it's not really very frequent, okay? So you can see the two words or the two phrases, okay? the two kind of questions are asking about the frequency. Okay, on how often. And the important, the good thing about these questions is that these questions give you the opportunity to practice a lot of vocabulary. And, and the most important thing about the, the vocabulary that you can practice is vocabulary about real things. Okay, because the best thing, uh, the best thing in English in this case is to think about situations, personal situations, because when, you, when we speak English, we need to say things about us, right? We don't need to read dialogues from the book, okay? When I say, uh, if I say, for example, Antonio, uh, how often do you go to uh, the beach? Ah, wait, that was estaba en la página 33 del libro. No, right, we don't, we say, how often do you go to the beach? Uh, every vacation, every time, I can when I have money, okay, usually, very often. So we respond accordingly. When I have money, teacher. Ah, okay, you see, exactly, thank you, Norma. When I have money, okay, it's not usually. <laughs> this is then in my case, if I see you digo, when I have money, it's barely, because I never have money. <laughs> 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 that would be the interpretation <laughs> in my case, right? And then you say, uh, yes, I say, when I have money, that, that's when I go to the beach. Okay, you don't need to use frequency, okay, the frequency adverb. So it's very natural, okay, it's a very natural way. Okay, but it's important to know the, the levels of frequency, okay? <clears throat> okay, and then uh, keep, the, keep your vocabulary alive, okay? Mantener vocabulario vivo, that's very important, right, to remember things vocabulary that we don't use. Remember that sometimes we learn vocabulary, but after one week, we don't use it. Okay, and then after when we need to use it, then we don't remember, okay? The idea is to, to keep the, the vocabulary alive, to, to keep it here, okay? Yeah? The tip of the tongue, la punta de la lengua, right? Mm -hmm. No very deep inside the brain, okay? Deep inside the brain, ah, bien adentro del cerebro, no funciona, right? It has to be here in the front, okay, and using it every day, okay? Okay, people, so we're going to stop here for today. For tomorrow, practice the frequency adverbs. I will send you some extra information in the chat, okay, so that we can practice for tomorrow. 
and it was a pleasure to meet you, okay? So I will see you tomorrow, nine o'clock. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Marily, good to see you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Bye. Have a Bye. good night. Bye. See you.